I wanted to host a party for my friends to come over and make wood signs and visit and just hang out. So what I did was I went and got a project panel, two foot by four foot, and I made nine signs out of it just so I could uh, give examples of uh, different signs and give people choices. So I wanted as many signs as I could. Now something that I did that might work out well for you is a few of my signs I made reversible. So like this one right here, you can have out for the fall, it says autumn, and then you can easily just switch it for Christmas where it says joyful. Um, and one that I made back here, the nice thing about it, is you can flip it over to have Christmas and the rest of the year you have something that can be up. Now this one is really practical because you don't have to worry about storing your sign. Whereas some of these, if they aren't double-sided, you're going to have to store them for the whole rest of the year. So for these signs, I will be using my Cricut machine for the stenciling, and I don't go into depth on how I do that, how I get my images, how I make images. If that's something that you want to see, just put a comment down below. I can always do a separate video on that. I just didn't want to bore you with the details. So I don't go into depth on that, but I will show you everything else. I bought a half inch plywood project panel, two feet by four feet. And using the table saw and miter saw, I cut the project panel into six pieces. I applied two coats of chalk paint to each sign. On three of my signs, I painted both the front and the back so I could make them reversible. As you can see, the paint left kind of a rough edge and that will allow just enough gaps for your paint to seep through. So I used 400 grit sandpaper on the white signs just to smooth them out. However, I would not recommend it on the black signs as it just didn't give it a good clean finish. Using the miter saw, I cut four or five one by twos to make the frames for the signs. I stained the frames using two different stains which I will list below. I attached the wood framing pieces with one and a half inch brads and sadly I was kind of rushed on this project and I forgot to use wood glue. So please do not forget that on your project as that wood glue will give it a really strong solid hold. Can you see how much I was rushing this project? I didn't even bother to take off the pricing scanning code there before staining it. For this sign, it will be reversible. So I used some scrap pieces of my plywood to raise the board up while attaching the framing pieces on. This will allow it to sit right in the middle of the frame so that it'll look the same on the front and the back. I cut my designs on my Cricut machine and removed the parts that I wanted to paint. Then I put transfer paper over the vinyl and removed the backing. Then I lined it up on my sign. In using my fingers, or you could use a popsicle stick, I made sure that all the edges that I will be painting were pushed down tight, as any gaps will allow paint to seep through. And then I removed the transfer paper. Here I am again sealing just all those edges just to make sure that my paint does not seep through anywhere. In using a foam brush, I applied two coats of chalk paint. You want to make sure that your chalk paint is really shaken up well or stirred up really well. It should have a thick consistency. If it's runny, again, it will tend to seep through those edges.
pretty easily. So make sure it's a really thick consistency. And I applied two coats of paint. So after you apply the first coat, you wanna let it dry probably to about 80 or 90% and then apply the second coat. Once your paint is about 90% dry, I mean not dripping wet anywhere, but not completely dry, you will peel off your vinyl. And you can use tweezers uh, just to get those middle pieces that you need out. And your sign's done. Put it up and enjoy it.